Um, okay. No, I'm missing the line. The line? You know, that kind of goes bisects there. Yeah. I'm pointing at my thing like you can see me. You know, they usually have a line in their nose. Yeah, like right about. I, I didn't do that. I need to do that. Yeah. But I so liked the rest of it, I was afraid to touch it anymore. Yeah. Okay, maybe I will s switch back over to the one where we can see the photo as well. Yeah, look at that line. Okay, so let's um, think about that now. So if you were to get that line in, what I sometimes do is I cut up, like if you, you don't have to mess up what you've already gotten done then. Make a cut right ah. like this. And then just shave it a little bit both sides. Like, you know, just cut a little bit more right there and a little bit more right there. Whoops. You know, something like that. Make a little gap and then just put black inside of it. Okay. And if it doesn't show up because it's black and you got a lot of black around it, then um, bring a little highlight of something. Um, I think this the this squiggly stuff you've got right next to it is good. Maybe cut out another couple squiggles that happen to hit like that. You know? Um, do you know what I mean? I, I do. That okay. makes good sense. Okay. Um, and then you're just really doing more of the same fabric, just cutting it out so that it happens to be more of the orange on it or maybe these um spots you got right here you know you might be able to fussy cut that fabric a little bit okay and if you just kind of happen to put like a half of one right there you know that would kind of darken it up uh, or um, lighten up um against the dark line but that's how you get something like that you know you can just cut a slit Cool. Um, and then you got. I forgot idea. his mouth. <laughs> Pardon? His mouth. I'm talking to myself. I can see what I've, what I'm missing. Yeah. Here's just evening out the mouth again. It's like the ear, where you're just kind of smoothing out what you've got. You know, I think if you just come down here. And smooth it. It goes somewhere like that. I think, I think something like that, and. Um, so here, if you look over on this one, the the dark is edged with just a little bit of light. Mm. So that's easy enough to do. Just trim this edge nice and straight and then slip a little bit of light underneath it. And that's kind of like the golden of his fur. So maybe find some of a golden color. Um, Kind of like a light gold so it kind of matches what's on his nose actually maybe you could take a little bit of let's see you know what i might try either this fabric right there the okay. one that has like the little furry stuff on it or maybe this one that might be too light but if you put, take a lighter one of the first okay. one up here above his nose and tuck it under it might it might show off enough there is oh there's another thing too there's his lower lip right here yeah i i know oh and i also meant to tell you i saw a catch this weekend and catch is a girl <laughs> oh she okay sorry okay. didn't know i was i told my husband we got to find out if the dog's a boy or a girl you know <laughs> <laughs> and Mimi said her or something, so I'm like, okay, we're okay. good. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, there we go. We'll, we'll try to. Well, she's got all these flowers on it, so I'll be. Yeah, well, that's why I told Bob I needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use as many flowers on boy animals as girl animals. <laughs> um. So let's go back a little bit. So I really like this. The you got a really nice comma here for the nose. So. Let's just take that. So that's what you got there. And then there's like a little C curve right underneath. So that's what you got right here with your light color. So that's good. But maybe what it is is that C curve comes down just a little too far. 
Ah, okay. Um, so it kind of comes in and goes like, whoops, yeah, like that. And then it's really narrow. See how tiny it is, but this is bigger. So maybe that's where the proportion is going on. I see, okay. So we make that a little thinner like that. And that gives you a little more room for your, the dark of the nose, which comes up like this. So I think you're probably pretty close there. And then, I don't, well, I don't know, maybe you do have it about right. I'm wondering how to fit everything in because yeah. there's the edge of the mouth or the upper lip, and then there's a tiny little bit of highlight, and then there's a little bit of lower lip showing through the fur, the whiskers, and then there's the chin. And it just looks like you're gonna run out of space here. It does. So maybe you could excavate underneath this line. <laughs> Just make sure. Uh, I didn't have Tom put up the drawing from last week. Otherwise, I might be able to look at it. Um, it's all right. I'm take a look. To at, think where is it? But yeah. Um, just kind of pick up a little bit of your fabric there, and see. Um, I'll write down excavate. I'll remember what yeah. that means and crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> um, or maybe it's just smaller than I think. Maybe the lines are just supposed to be a little smaller, but it seems from, and I'm not, you know, this is a not a terribly exacting line that I'm making here either. So it could be just one thing's compounding onto the, onto the other, but um, Let's go over on the photo. Her jowl kind of comes down and then goes up. So that makes a little bit of a V and I don't see as much of a V right here, but that's me drawing it too. So um, if we took it from here, I think what it comes down to is you've lost the edge yep. of, of um, where her upper jowl separates from the bottom. Yeah, because it even looks better with the squiggle on it. Because I, I can tell where things are supposed to go. Yeah, so I just lost my edges. Yeah. That's oh, like skating. Yeah. <laughs> skating? <laughs> you know, or skiing when you lose your edges, you <laughs> end up down the hill. I end up down the hill no matter what. So that has nothing to do with the same thing. Um, and I think maybe, yeah, you know what, this whole area, so this whole area in here needs to be looked at. Yep. Um, because I'm not seeing the dark of that lip because you have, because here now, if I follow the lower jaw, which looks like it should be the lower jaw, this is very dark. Yeah. It's too dark. And, and this is light over here. Yeah. So yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah. I, I lost my way. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. So just go back. You know, I think I like the fabrics that you've got. Um, though I think maybe on the bottom of her, her lower jaw, when I, I think here in this case, I would just pull the pins and gently move everything off the line and rethink, you know, just start, yep. you know, start from the, the upper jaw, get that upper jaw correct and then move under it, slipping things under. So okay. um, I was, I want to erase some, a couple things here. I just want to erase that and that. Um, so, um, but you know, this, this, that, yeah, the dark lip isn't there. So, right. yeah, so it's, I see there's a few lines here, but it's just like, you kind of got mixed up if it was supposed to be light or dark and, um, yep. So yeah, just take a take a closer look at that and um, redo it. And I think when you put fabric back, I really do like this fabric on the bottom. You know, I, I like this this fabric here. That's very interesting. But um, I think maybe to separate because of all the black in it, I think that it'll stand out better if you go for something more like like this one. Understood. Yeah. 